Hey everyone, what's up? Gamer Guy Seven Aces back with another video, and we got a special trailer, an E3 trailer from Sonic Forces. All right, this came out yesterday, but I wasn't able to do a video on it because I was at work when this whole thing was playing. I know you guys have been waiting for this video. Like, this is the video you've all been waiting for. Like, because I'm always getting replies and comments like, Hey, Gamer Guy, when are you going to post the reaction to this video? It's like you guys love watching my thoughts and opinions, you know, versus other Sonic tubers. I'm just saying. But anyway, all right. So this trailer was hype. Now, speaking of hype levels, it's like... The hype levels for Sonic Forces is always going up and down like a roller coaster. As for me, they've been up, and you know, I like to say just, I like to apologize to Sega for all the problems we've been giving them over this game, Sonic Forces. This game is looking hype, and I am more hyped for this game than Mario Odyssey. Yes, I know, Super Mario Odyssey looks awesome, it looks great, it looks even better than 3D World, it looks like it's going to be my favorite 3D Mario game. That being said, nothing can ever surpass the hype levels when it comes to Sonic trailers, especially the cutscenes, you know, like Sonic always has the cinematics, you know, in spades when it comes to that, like Mario's story can never compare to Sonic's story, that's just a fact. But anyway, uh, alright, so we got all these villains now, we got Shadow, Chaos, Metal Sonic, Zavik, and Minecraft the Hedgehog? <laughs> I'm just playing, a lot of people were joking saying that it'd be Minecraft the Hedgehog, but at first, when I saw him, I thought he was Mephilus or something. But I remember Azuka said in an interview that Mephilus would never, ever be coming back. He would never return to the Sonic game. And I'll explain more about that later, why we see the villains that we see. But bottom line, Sonic forces the fan base to shut up. You know, because before this trailer dropped, everybody left and right was just complaining about this game. How they're losing hype, how the gameplay looks bland. I have to admit, I would I would have loved to see more 3D gameplay of the custom character because when it's all 2D like that, it's too far and I can't see the details well. You know, and they have been showing more 2D of this game. I wish they showed more 3D. But other than that, I'm still hyped for this trailer. I mean, for this game and I'm excited for it. All right, so the villains return. Now, here's the reason why we see the villains that we see. A lot of people are like, wait, where's Iblis? Where's Mephilus or Solaris or Dark Gaia? The thing is, every villain you see here are the villains that are still alive in the Sonic universe. Perfect Chaos, or let's look at Chaos. Chaos was never dead. Chaos is immortal. The only thing Sonic did to him in the uh, in Sonic Adventure 1 was defeat his perfect form. And just return him to his normal form, and then with the Chao and Tico, they were able to, uh, you know, um, calm him down and seal him back with the Master Emerald, I think. You know, I'm not an expert Sonic Adventure 1 story, but I know what happened to Chaos is he didn't die. Now, as for Shadow, obviously Shadow is not dead, obviously. And same thing as Metal Sonic. You know, Dr. Eggman can always rebuild the new copy of Metal Sonic. And Zavik. Now, a lot of people thought Zavik or Zavok, whatever, was dead in Sonic Lost World. No, just because he disappeared doesn't mean he was dead. I, mean, I don't know why people came up with that lame assumption. They always disappeared in all of their bosses in the in throughout the game Lost World. So why would we assume that they died in the end of the game? That doesn't make any sense. There would be a cutscene for that. So I always knew the Deadly Six were around. That's why the ending for Sonic Lost World just felt unfulfilling. So out of all of Sonic's villains besides Eggman, those are the only ones that are still around. Unless you want to count the rest of the Deadly Six, which we don't need to see in this trailer. Dark Gaia, he's still alive, but Dark Gaia is sealed with the Earth. There is no way Sonic can fight Gaia again because Gaia is the whole balance of light and dark and earth. If Gaia comes out, then the whole world is in peril again, you know? So that's not possible. Same thing as Light Gaia. We, we can never see those two again because they only awaken after like every millennia. So after every couple thousands of years, I think, or every thousand years, they awake. So that's ruled out. And obviously Solaris, Iblis, Mephilus, like what Azuka said, those don't exist anymore. They have been completely erased from time. You know, when Elise blew out Solaris Flame. So no more Solaris, no more Mephilus. Those are also never going to come back. And what other villains has Sonic faced? Okay, oh yeah, Mother Nega Wisp from Sonic Colors DS. By the way, guys, I'm going to do a Sonic Theory on that, on the whole thing about Mother Nega Wisp. And uh, yeah, the reason why we don't see that is not because it's, it's an obscure villain. It's because Mother Nega or Mother Wisp was never bad. She was good. Just like Chaos in a way, but she was good. Just Eggman corrupted her with negative hyper going energy. So looking back, these are all the villains that are still around and, you know, able to fight Sonic again. So that's why we see the villains that we see in this game. Now, uh, 
the story behind this, I'm starting to piece together what's going on with the story. And it's still, you know, syncing up with the leaked information that Larry revealed last year. You know that video that I uh, posted last month about the whole Sonic is missing. Now, in the beginning of this game, you know, Sonic's first level when he's searching for Shadow. Initially, we thought he was looking for Shadow for help. But I think either he's looking for Shadow without knowing that Shadow has already turned to the dark side, or Sonic is trying to stop Shadow. So what I can gather from this is that Sonic is searching for Shadow, right? And then he finds Shadow, and Shadow has already joined the forces with Zavik, Chaos, Metal Sonic, and Infinity. And together they all beat the living crap out of Sonic, and then Infinity comes and sends Sonic to another dimension. Sonic is therefore missing after that, and then Tails goes into hiding. Now, it completely makes sense now why, why Tails goes into hiding. He's not going to hiding because he's a coward or he's unreliable. I remember a lot of Tails fans were upset at the uh, leaked information I, I mentioned uh, last month, saying that why would Tails be such a coward to not join the Resistance? But now it makes sense. Like, Tails is no match for these villains. You know, Tails will go into hiding to save his ass. That's what Sonic would want him to do, too, because after they defeat Sonic, the next person they will be gunning after is Tails, assuming that the custom hero and the classic Sonic is not in the picture yet. So, uh, Tails would definitely go into hiding, and still, he would still be working underground. Like, I, I don't think Tails is not helping the Resistance. I think he still is, but he's in the hiding. He's doing it more in the shadows, so he won't get caught. Because Tails versus Infinity, Tails is done for. You know, Infinity is the secret weapon that Dr. Eggman has unleashed. He looks like a hedgehog, but then he doesn't. But yeah, he looks completely OP. So yeah, so that's what I'm piecing together. That's my speculation, and I hope this comes true, you know. A lot of us are more hyped for the story in Sonic Forces than the game, which is the first for me, is the first for a lot of people. That's a good thing. I mean, as far as the story is concerned, Sega is really pushing the story forward. So they better deliver. They better deliver with the story. And uh, this infinite villain, he's called infinite. What is he exactly? Now, I uh, tweeted to, uh, you know, uh, Sega Scourge, uh, Sonic Gru, and all those people that, you know, he eerily looks familiar to Merge Zamasu from uh, Dragon Ball Super, just the way he stands above all the rubble and, you know, the way he feels so holier than Tao and he's omnipotent, you know, the whole nature versus nurture thing. We don't know. I'm just making parallels. You know, Sonic loves to take from Dragon Ball and this infinite villain looks a lot like Zamasu. Who knows? But one thing I do know is that his logo is infinity. You know, it's the infinity symbol and that Everyone has been referencing Sonic CD. The fun is infinite. And now that just brings a whole new dark meaning. And that's also what I put in the thumbnail. Maybe this is fun to Eggman. You know, it's fun taking over 99% of the world. And fun is infinite. And uh, yeah, this villain looks like he's basically a dimensional villain. Like, he looks like he's Time Eater times 10. Because Time Eater needed to be controlled by someone. Whereas Infinite looks like he works you know, alone, but for some reason he's working with Eggman. I don't know if he's going to turn on Eggman near the end of the game, because usually Eggman's villains always turn against him, even the Deadly Six. And also, the symbol, in the end of the trailer, it kind of shifts, it kind of separates a bit before it rejoins uh, vertically. So when it separates for a while, for a split second, it shows two lowercase deltas. Now if you guys don't know, the symbol delta means change. So this ties into Shadow being evil, Chaos coming back to life, custom character who can be changed. So this symbolizes the whole theme of this game, which is change, you know? So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, Sega did that intentionally. They did that on purpose because the infinity symbol looks like two segmented deltas, which symbolize change. So what do you guys think? I can't wait to see more information on this game. I hope Sega does release more gameplay footage and trailers of this game. But I don't think we're going to get any trailers anytime soon because this one was great. Like this one can last me for a while. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to mention is, uh, you know, I remember when I completely ruled out my uh, time loop paradox theory from, uh, you know, I did last year. But I don't know, like this is starting to uh, reflect that theory a little bit. Because the whole point of that theory was that all of Sonic's villains will come together and like Sonic always has a bad future. No matter how much, the more he tries to prevent it, the worse it becomes. And now we're kind of seeing that now. So that's pretty interesting. All right, guys, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember to smash the like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, swag out.